What's up everyone, my name is Weber, and welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. Alright, right, Jody, come on. Ash it. That. Good, good. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good. That must suck. They're in like, what is that, negative 40 weather? Oh, especially for him. He's gonna get like hypothermia and shit. Me too. I hate it so much. Still angry with me? No. It's <laughs> a good way to put it. I never had time to tell you this, but uh, I love you, Jody. What? <laughs> I wanted you to know, just in case we die here. Right. So how about you? Huh? Do you love me too? Oh, come on. Um, um... Yeah. He did come back and save us, and he is sorry. Yeah, I love you. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> great. That's all you had to say. Well, fuck you too. Kiss me. Ah, sweet. They can die together in the cold. No, he has to be like his body has to be like freezing and shutting down. He's not where he's where he like a freaking wife beater. He just came out of water and he's in negative forty degree weather. Come on. He has to be dead. Right? There! It's them! It's like a sweet fucking time, god damn it. What is this? Hauntings? Interesting. Agent 894732. Well, probably because I gave up info. Well, it's okay. They died. Good night, Princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than oh, anything. Oh, so this is right after the accident. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Okay. Now you get some sleep. I'll try, but no promises. Can never get comfortable, damn it. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, 
Or do, do, do you need something? Miss? Miss? Do you know that it's after hours and you're not supposed to be here? Hey now. Who told you you could walk through walls? I certainly did not say you could. Check in here, see if I can interact with anything. No? Okay, okay. Alright, Jerry, let's go. Hello. Please be nice. Please don't kill me. Yes, I'm coming. I don't know why I'm coming. Where is this? <gasps> I recognize this room. This is, this is gonna be Nathan's uh, freaking office. Oh, what are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. No. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Come on. Laura. We love you, darling. He'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Ah, uh, Nathan. I miss them so much. I know. I know. So we're gonna find out something that that situation caused him to act a certain way that's in the present that's usually how it ends up black sun where's black sun the active condenser in the republic of kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible we are now the only nation with access to the infoworld this situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. No, Jody's like, yeah, you guys are retarded. Uh, 
There's Ryan. Pentagon top brass getting you down? Indifferent. I did what they wanted me to do. It's not my business anymore. We played our part in all of this. We were manipulated. They told us we were doing the right thing. But all we did was allow the Pentagon alone to control the infra-world. Which is bullshit. Government's corrupt as it is. What are you gonna do now? Normal life. Leave. Go somewhere far away and just try and lead a normal life. <sighs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Mm -hmm. Listen, Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, and I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. Hmm. Think. I'm, I'm not ready. I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Well, look, whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I... Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. What are you up to, Cole? That's very suspicious. Decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Mm, sure. Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. So that's rift in there? Is there like a barrier keeping everyone safe? That's what I want to know. Alright, here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> Later. Later, Cole. Whatever Nathan says, Maybe you're not up to anything. Hmm. Cole's always had our back. I think we should trust him. I'm in. Jody. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. For reals? That's awesome. Elizabeth North. 
No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars for services rendered. That should help make a new start. I'll accept. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot, hanging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. Uh, what's this you have? The government gave me everything I needed to study the infra-world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years. But I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Looks like they're suffering. Laura, I miss you so much. I come to see them every day. Soon we'll be together. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead Jody, can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. Hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Um. Nathan. Nathan, they're dead. They're in the info world now. You cannot make them come back. Sorry, I, I can't help you. I'm not gonna enable you. I haven't heard their voices for 15 years. Since that day, I heard them through a little girl. You. I'm begging you. Jody, do this for me. Give me your hands. Oh, God damn it. Nathan, you're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die. You lying. Helen didn't say that. You did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two walls. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Reason. Suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if 
you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. You crazy son of a bitch. I hope you find peace. I'm gonna have to go and call this part, guys. Um, let me know what you think of the video in the comments section. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more content from me, hit that subscribe. Until next time, have a nice day.